doing a Big Bang Burger open 24 hours a day because there's no day or night in space. Big Bang Challenge. Yep, I want it. Hit me up. Taking a Big Bang Challenge will cause time to pass, will improve your guts, accepting the challenge costs money. Challenge is conquered if you eat the entire Big Bang Burger. To succeed, you need knowledge, proficiency, and guts. Yep, you gotta be smart enough to eat a burger. Prevail and you will receive a prize and an increase in a stat other than guts. Win or lose, your guts always increases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit me up. Oh, oh it's only 500 yen, it? too? It's too easy. It's too easy. Hit me up. Yeah. I want this guts. What is, you have to be rank 3 proficiency, guts, and knowledge to be able to to be able to win this one cuz there are like multiple levels of the challenge, right? Or is it is it only one? I don't remember. Aren't there like two or three levels of the Big Bang Burger challenge that gets even more ridiculous as you go? Thank you very much. Thank you for taking the Big Bang challenge. This is your first time, yes? You're starting rank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Third mate. So you got to go third mate, second mate, then first mate is the final one, I think. Or maybe there's also a captain one? I don't remember. Or no, there is no first mate. The captain is the first mate, right? I don't know pirate talk. I'm sorry. Your aim will be the Comet Burger. Hit me up. For real? This is a lot bigger than I was expecting. This burger is as voluminous as a soaring comet burning in the sky. I definitely mispronounced that. It will not be overcome easily. But should you conquer this challenge, you will be rewarded with an extravagant prize. Hit me up. Now then. Well, then it's time to get the 30-minute Big Bang Challenge started. Ready? Go. All this meat makes sense for a challenge of such cosmic proportions. Now then. Don't get too hasty. Just work at your own pace and you'll do it. I love the way he holds this burger. Oh, I already did it. Okay, so it's probably like... Probably like the first... The third mate one is like rank 2 in all your stats. The next one will be rank 3 in all of them. And then the last one is like rank 4. Because it would be really stupid if you had to be rank 5 in guts to be able to finish the last challenge. There is a first mate, then there's a captain. Okay, yeah, I don't know pirates. <laughs> Believe it or not. Oh. First try! First try, chat. You did it. Congratulations! Congrats on completing this challenge. Since you managed to extinguish the Comet Burger, I present you with the second mate badge. Thank you. And to the Burger Baron who defeated this challenge, we present to you our world famous Big Bang Burger on the house. We hope you enjoy the taste of victory. They're gonna give me another burger. Oh, they gave me three burgers to keep for later. New challenges will await you now that you become a second Please mate. I look forward to your next attempt at our challenge. No, I'm two it. in everything, Michael. There are three There are three challenges that you have to do. I, I think I have this right. And yeah, someone in chat said the same thing, so I think this is right. There are three challenges. To complete the first one, your knowledge, proficiency, and guts all have to be rank two. And I have rank two in everything, except to rank three in proficiency. So then the second, uh, the, the next challenge, I have to be rank three in knowledge, guts, and proficiency. And then the last challenge, you have to be rank four in knowledge, guts, and proficiency. I think that's right. <laughs> what did that give me extra points to? All right, I gave me the guts, nice. yeah. Everything was perfect indeed. What's this? Proficiency, it sounded like. No, knowledge, even better. Give me all these points. Charm, yep. All girls love a guy who can chow down an entire uh, burger. I assumed you had done the first one already. No, 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 no. That was the first one I just did. I kept putting that off to do other stuff. Oh, hello. Who could that be at this hour? It's Ryuji. Mishima's real hyped up about finding our next big target. Something tells me he's just going to get himself in trouble. Maybe we should go with him. He said he was going to Harajuku, and I let On know too. Couldn't hurt, right? If you respond right away to a confidant's invitation without putting on hold, your relationship will deepen. If you immediately respond to a message, your schedule for that day will be filled, and you'll be unable to do anything else to that day. Be sure to consider an invitation before you commit to it. What is this? Still don't know Tokyo very well. This might be a good chance to get more familiar with the area or something. So what are your thoughts? Will you go to Harajuku with Ryuji? You might get max proficiency this playthrough. I got max in every stat in my first playthrough, except Guts, if I remember right. I hope to get max stats entirely this time. Is this... I don't recognize this. This seems new. But Harajuku is where I can buy more books, I'm pretty sure. And I assume this is going to give me friendship points with Ryuji and On. And if I'm going to get two friendship points for spending one activity in the day... I'm going to do it. So I'm going to commit. All right.
Alright, let's all meet up over there then. You're meeting everyone in Harajuku tomorrow, huh? Better get some rest, you don't want to oversleep. Is Harajuku the place where you can buy more books? I don't remember. Right. Or maybe I'm thinking of somewhere else. Honestly, don't know. Yeah, this is smoothie day, but I'm pretty sure I'm still going to get to do stuff Bye. at night. So I can just go get the smoothie at night. It's so crowded, just like I expected. The perfect place to start our investigation. But I gotta say, I wasn't expecting all of you to come along. I had a photo shoot nearby, so I figured, why not? But why Harajuku, Mishima? Well, Harajuku is this big cultural hub, right? People from all over the world come here. <laughs> so that means we might... Words. It's on my throat, sorry. That means there might be all kinds of international villains walking around in broad daylight. Yeah, like us. I don't know if I get that logic. Uh, for example... Oh, check that guy out. He's definitely suspect. I mean, who wears black leather long coats at this time of year? He's gotta be shady. And all those belts must be supplies so he can tie people up. And he's probably just a... He's probably just Yashiro. Are you looking at Yashiro from Tokyo Mirage? Oh man, do you think he's an escaped convict? No, I'm pretty sure that's just a goth style. But my phantom thief's senses are tingling. You're not a phantom thief. Don't you think he's suspicious, Karusu? You're, uh... You're tingling? Well, I mean, because I'm the phantom aficionado website admin, and... Look, that's not important. You know what I mean. If you think he's that suspicious, then go talk to him. Huh? Me? You're the one who's all hyped up about this investigation, right? So hey, go up to that guy and ask, Yo, Captain Trenchcoat, sorry to bother you, but you an escaped convict? If you're an escaped convict, you gotta tell me. What? You gotta be kidding! He'd have that belt around my neck before I even finished talking. <sighs> it's normal to see people dressed in unusual clothes here. Honestly, I think it's kinda cool. Like, they've got the confidence to wear whatever they want, you know? Like, nothing's gonna keep them from expressing their own style. Cool or not, they're definitely not letting anyone hold them back. What do you think about unique fashion like this, Akira? <laughs> I miss the country. <laughs> You're that freaked out? I mean, I get it. Everyone's comfortable with their own style. But you shouldn't be afraid to try new stuff. Hey, maybe I could put together a Harajuku-style outfit for you? Whoa, that sounds fun. Yeah, let's go cosplaying. Anyway, no more judging people by their appearance. If they're wearing what they want to wear, that's something to admire. Heck, I'd say it means they're honest, not like people who seem nice on the outside but turn out to be terrible. Guess you're right. Lady On is absolutely right. Yeah. After all, I look like a cat, but I'm actually a dashing noble cat. You're a cat. Now that I think about it, it's kind of hard juku e to walk around with a cat in a bag. True, he's like a really specialized fashion accessory. Is that a compliment? Guess you're lucky, Akira. You can get popular just by having me around. So, Mishima, take you didn't actually have any leads. No. Ah, uh, yeah, figures. Well, as long as we're here, let's have some fun. Then let's get Akira dressed up. On oh, Mishima, too. Maybe On can get rid of your weird anti Harujuku prejudice. Huh? Me, too? Actually, if I've gotten any hidden talent for fashion, this would be the perfect chance to discover it. Lady On, Lady On, help me get all fashionable, too. You're a cat. All right, we can squeeze in a trip to the pet shop for Morgana. No, I'm not a pet. You know, Karusu, sometimes it sounds like your cat's really joining in on the conversation. Then let's get going. Just follow me. I know a place. All right. It's all go. you, Miss Fashionista. Enjoyed Harajuku with everyone. Evening. Now then. Oh, yeah, you're supposed to meet at Inokashira Park for school tomorrow. Wait, did you forget Kawakami said there was a community cleanup event? Yep. Yusuke, any changes yet? How's Madarame? Nothing at the moment, he is still bedridden. Wait, you think this is too much for the old guy's heart? There's no need to worry. His life does not appear to be in any danger. I hope we didn't screw up on our first official mission. Can he talk at all? So far, all he has said to me is, I'm sorry. I haven't been able to speak to him since, though. He is in no state to hold a conversation. For real? If he ends up taking legal action against us, our leader will be in big trouble. You're under probation, correct? That would be problematic. Hey, we're gonna be okay, aren't we? 
for sure, don't worry. If Akira says so, I'm sure it's true. I will contact all of you if any progress is made. Let's just wait for the change of heart for now. Yeah, well, we'll be waiting up for, we'll be waiting for your updates, Yusuke. Man, reading is hard. All right, I was ignoring chat through all that. Let me catch up on chat real quick. Thought the tutorial said it would take the whole day. The word day in this game, Michael, um, like nine times out of ten, actually it might straight up be ten times out of ten. When they say the whole day, they mean daytime. Evening does not count as day in this game. So if they say it'll take up your day, they mean it'll take up your daytime, because now it's night. So I still get to do stuff here. So I do need to go get my smoothie, actually, before I forget again. Do do. All right, Snorlax, welcome to stream. Okay, get the smoothie. Who's texted me? Oh, that's right, Broshita is on Sundays. We're probably gonna hang out with Broshita. Do I have a Sun Persona yet? Oh wait, no, I don't need a Sun Persona because Broshita is a guaranteed rank up every single time, isn't he? Yeah. Pretty sure Chat said he was a guaranteed rank up. What do you want? Yes, I want this. Give me that kindness. 5k for a single... All that for a single drop of kindness. Nice. Good job. I was watching you try so hard. Stop staring at me, cat. You're freaking me out. Am I close to any other rank threes yet? Now that you're healthy, let's go somewhere else. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my dad. What's up? I'll be giving a speech at the usual spot today. Spot? I cannot talk today for some reason. Are you free today? Do you think you could help out? Let's get it, Broshita. Thanks. I would like for you to hold up a placard again. I'll be waiting in front of Shibuya Station. Let's get it. Everyone. Passing on the societal ills we have created to the next generation is not right. It will take time to solve this problem. However, we must start by making small changes. You. I hope you gleaned something useful from today's speech. Regardless of the audience's size, you must convey your thoughts as if you're talking one-on-one. -on -one. By the way, I forgot to ask you last time we spoke. Why do you want to become a politician? I want to change this world. Hmm? Ambitious indeed, if a little ambiguous. Well, I'm sure you're ironing out the details as you go along. May I ask you one more question? What kind of politician do you want to be? One with conviction, clearly. Yes, don't ever forget that. Although what's important is what lies within. You're right. Allow me to give you some advice. If you aspire to get into politics, you must possess a central philosophy. What is it that you want to accomplish? That is the foundation of a great speech. You do well to remember that. That was helpful. Many thanks. I'm glad. By the way, my philosophy is... Very well. Never give up until your voice is heard. To get your message across... Across? Words? Be tenacious in conveying your thoughts to the audience. Have a firm point of view and communicate it clearly. That's the first rule of negotiating. <laughs> you have me reliving my, the fighting spirit I had when I first became a politician. Rank up. Diplomacy. Occasionally ask for more money or items during negotiations. Yes! Yes! All right. Yes! Get the heck out of here, no good Tora. Mm. No good Tora. They're right. I am no good. Ah, my apologies. We're done for today. Yeah, give me that charm. Let's go. Two charm points from Broshita? Yo, Broshita coming through. How have I not gotten a second rank three yet? My goodness. I shall ask you again another Thank you time. for all your hard work. I'll see you next time. Yeah, I went to Big Bang Burger just a moment ago. We did the first uh, the first challenge and got it done. Hey, I wanted to thank you for today. I'm sorry you had to see me acting like such a coward right after I gave you that self-important lecture, too. But I'm quite a stubborn individual myself. I hope today's incident was at least a good example of what not to do, but what do you think? Did you take anything useful from it? My dude, you changed my whole outlook. <laughs> what, really? 
I wasn't expecting to have such an impact, but I'm glad if I helped somehow. I hope our talks from now on will keep giving you the direction you need. Well, I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye. He's done it. Every Sunday with Broshita is a good Sunday. Hey, hey. We're cleaning up today? It's farther away than school, right? Or hurry up and get dressed so we won't be late. How dare this cat order me around. Sorry, but I'm in a bit of a hurry. You go to Shujin, right? I heard things have been rough there lately. What with that violent incident. You want to go talk about it somewhere? Thank you for your concern. However, I really am in a hurry, so if you'd excuse me... Come on, there's no need to be shy. Is this middle-aged dude really, like, grabbing a high school girl in the middle of a crowded area? Like I said... If you're busy, I'll put my number in your phone so you can call me later. Sound like a plan? Stop it. I can't overlook this. Yeah, I feel like not a single person here should be overlooking this. It's just those stupid selfie stick freaks with those awful grins in the background again. You see them? We need to change their hearts. What do you want? Yo. What's the right call here? Don't get worked up. I'm just being friendly here. What the? What are you getting so jumpy about? Like you're anything special. Uh. Thank you so much. I'm sorry for the trouble. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine now. It was pretty scary, though. May I ask you something? So, what made you step in to help me? I'm the protagonist. Because I wanted to. That's it? Well, I apologize for asking something so strange. You're headed to the cleanup as well, right? The cleanup? <gasps> Look at the time! I'm so sorry. I haven't even thanked you properly yet. Oh no, I forgot my gym clothes at school. I'll see you at the cleanup soon. We can talk more then if you'd like. Pardon me. What a polite girl. Took you so long. Did you really come here from home in your gym clothes? <laughs> sure did. It must be so nice to be a guy. <laughs> huh? Ain't it normal? And uh, are you planning on doing this cleanup in that outfit? Of course not. I brought my gym clothes with me. I was gonna change in the bathroom, but now there's a huge line. Oh, that makes sense. Sounds like it sucks to be a girl. <laughs> it's such a nice day out that even the weather seems to be mocking us. Dude, could you try pushing your way into our conversation a little less awkwardly next time? <laughs> Bet some Kichi Joji clean freak hung paper dolls all over and prayed for clear skies today. Hey. Morning, everyone. Where do all of these confidants keep coming from? Huh? Are you here for the cleanup too, Doc? You got it. Uh, in those clothes? Oh, no. I'm in a difference. There you are, Dr. Maruki. We're going to start prepping soon. Prepping what? I'm part of the cooking crew. Hope you're looking forward to a solid meal. Oh no. 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 Did they did they look at Persona 4 Golden and then make this scene? 
Oh no. See you all later. Hmm. I can't remember if I brought any starchy vegetables. More like Dr. Popular. I'm sure the Phantom Thieves will be even bigger someday. Good morning, Shujin Academy students and staff. Please pick up all trash located in the areas assigned to your group. Yo, there's Haru! Also, have we ever seen Makoto? In the original game, did Makoto ever wear gym clothes? I do not ever remember seeing Makoto wear gym clothes. Once the cleanup is completed, a lunch of miso soup with pork and vegetables will be served. Ooh, pork miso soup. So that's what Dr. Maruki's fan club is making. Galactic Knight, thank you for following. Hope you enjoy the stream in any future ones. Ooh, pork miso soup. So that's what Dr. Maruki's fan club is making. FYI, the school already assigned the groups at random. They're four people apiece, boys and girls mixed. Oh, really? Now that those announcements have been made, please break into your groups and head to your assigned areas. All right. Let's just get this over with as fast as possible, so we can chow down on that soup and get out of here. 